Hello YouTubers, uh, I have a, another thing I kind of created here, uh, see you guys uh, like my uh, three axis portable uh, satellite uh, tracking system, so I made one for the house, designed one for the house, this is designed to be mounted on the uh, Yezu G5500 uh, rotor, and uh, if you look at it like this, of course your rotor will be mounted here, and that'll give you your left and right and the up and down. And this device here will give you your third axis. And that's a eight uh, RPM motor, 12 volts, with a couple of micro uh, switches there wired in uh, on a standard um, six wire uh, rotor cable that goes to this control box. Uh, the control box has a switch on it right here with the green light and two red lights. The green light indicates that the uh, antenna is back in its uh, neutral position and each red light will indicate the end of travel in either direction so if I hit the button the green light will go out you can see the antenna moving uh, rotating and a red light comes on go back the other way once it hits the center point again your green light will flash on and it'll go out then once it reaches its other end point, the red light will come on. So I'll show you the system working. Uh, sorry about the quality of the video. I'm doing this off of my cell phone. So anyway, that's that's it. So your it's designed for the arrow antenna the uh, dual band narrow antenna that uh, we use most of the time for tracking satellites handheld. Uh, it'll fit right on this just like it fit on my uh, portable three axis uh, system that you guys might remember right there. That's my portable system. And uh, has a couple of bearings on it. I have a bearing here, a bearing there. The way it wires up, uh, it comes into the end here. What this, what I have, what I happen here is this will go on the end of the cap there, and your wires will run down through here, and that will be inside that unit just like that. Where this wire would run from the inside down the pipe to the end cap does a cover and you can see your hole in the front where the end of that uh, mass will come through the uh, hole and your antenna will connect to the end of this and that will give you um, your third axis here I'll come in close and let me see if I can get this cleared up. So. All right, now I'll rotate it again. Rotate it back. See if I can show you the lights at the same time it's rotating. Rotating, the green light will come on. That's at the center point. The red light will come on when it reaches the end. And back the other way. Neutral position, green light. Red light will come on at the end point. That way, uh, the system can be used inside the house. And you don't have to keep running outside looking Okay, as my antenna rotated back in the correct position.
So, zoom back out. I uh, hope this gives somebody some ideas. I mean, I haven't have I don't have it installed yet, uh, but I think it's gonna work fine. Seems like uh, there's enough torque on the motor to handle the antenna. It's not a very big or very heavy antenna, so it shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, there it is, my three-axis uh, satellite tracking antenna for the. Uh, uh, G55 Yezu rotor system. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, leave a note at the bottom uh, and I will try to answer any questions I can answer. Thanks a lot. Sorry for the amateur video, but hey, it's the best I can do. <laughs> Take care.